What's up guys? AK with DCC train. This is steam generator from USA trains locomotive. I worked before on F E F3. I believe this is a little bit different. Um, the model is the same, which is going to different locomotive. The goal is to get it to work with Zemo decoder MS 990 K. Original board is not doing any good only I believe two heating elements working uh, Zemo is using a pulse width modulation PWM and that's probably makes that board um, maybe compatibility issue I'm not sure so we're just going I believe straight from the coder output to those heating elements so I already took it apart and uh, share with you how it's supposed to be working when this kind of uh, gasket here separates when um, steam fluid going to here and it's through this uh, path so it's landing in that reservoir okay then individual fans working here and it was working and they just blow that steam fro from individual channel or from three one for um, whistle one for cylinders and one for like a chaffs I believe let me think uh, I'll come back to it <laughs> yeah so when it oh um, yeah exhaust exhaust so here we go, right, chaffs, exhaust, and whistle. Individually works, again, perfectly fine. So there, there are four wires here. So two for the, the heating element and two for um, kind of sensor. And all connects here. When I test originally on DC that uh, FE F3 locomotive, I turn knob to like 14 volts. It wasn't on the truck. It was like um, the wheels not touching the truck. So I, I, I need to run it very fast uh, to get that uh, steam generator working. So my point is we need that all those elements working without any issues so there there are some logic in DC board but again it just no way to get it to work three heating elements re the resistance oh. it's about 20 ohms and those sensors, I cannot, <laughs> I cannot even measure it because I'm in different mode, testing mode. So let's see. I'm just using a kind of nice fluke tester. Uh, about 56K. If we look at that unit inside, um, See, I'm pointing to the, that's the um, uh, sensor, heating sensor, and this is element. So my plan is to, uh, that thing goes in between. So I'm, I'm, I'm not going to use um, sensors. What I'm going to use just the elements so the plan is to figure out with a programmer and software which is after latest update change something to adjust that technology uh, Zemo using pulse with modulation it's PWM to work with this um, set up 
then I can connect to the different outputs those fans and it should everything working. This is not edited. It's actually not uh, broadcast. It's just um, kind of step-by-step -step installation for the future reference. If you guys doing the same or troubleshooting or send me sending to me another unit. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. Supporting business. If you'd like to support channel, please join membership. Have a good one. Bye-bye.